Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you how to sign out and sign back in in your App Store Apple ID. Okay, so this is just for your App Store. Um, keep in mind, if you go into your App Store, you scroll down under Featured, you can see your Apple ID and from there sign out. Now once you sign out, don't worry, your pictures are intact, everything is intact, you're not erasing anything, your contacts will be right there and you can use another app ID. So for this instance, for the App Store, you can download any apps for using the other app ID if you want to and then sign back into your own app ID. I wouldn't keep the other one on, okay? Um, I know some people use several app IDs, I don't recommend that. I recommend Max using two, maybe, <laughs> um, and that's it, okay? So I use two at a time, usually, but um, it's better always, always to use one, but this is how you do it, okay? And then you can just create a new one or just use an existing app ID, and then just type in whatever app ID you guys want, and that's about it. So that's how you sign out of your app ID, sign into a new one, and vice versa, okay? You guys can just go down there, sign out, sign back in, and trade up your Apple IDs for the Apple Store. Um, and keep in mind, this is just for the App Store, it doesn't affect your whole phone, okay? So for your whole phone, you would have to do it, not from here, so you would have to do it right from settings, okay? So if you go to settings, that's where you would do it for the entire phone. If you just got a phone, okay, or an iPad or iPod Touch, I would recommend connecting up to your computer opening up iTunes and restoring it. Once you restore it, you can put your Apple ID and that way the phone or whatever device you guys have will be 100% yours with your Apple ID. If you just do it from the App Store, then um, all that other information will keep syncing up to the other person's Apple ID. So just make sure to restore it so it's 100% yours. If you just bought it from somebody else, make sure they don't have their stuff in here okay so make sure they signed out from their app id right in settings okay before you buy it and um ask them so if they don't know their password they can always reset it to reset it's really easy they can just try it three times they screw up uh, and it will prompt them with a message saying that uh, they can reset it just uh, by using their rescue email or sending them a message or something like that okay usually people do it with the rescue email and then they can just reset their password if they don't know it um, if they don't know their email either then it's fishy don't buy the device obviously it might be stolen and then the owner can claim it okay so they can blacklist it and then they can break your i device and you just bought a nothing, a piece of nothing technology because your screen will turn black and you will be able to do nothing with it. So make sure to restore it if you just bought that ID device. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.